Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to add motion blur in Adobe After Effects. So what happens if we shot our footage at too fast of a shutter speed, and our footage, you know, looks a little bit jagged, looks a little bit unrealistic. This also works for what I'm gonna be showing you is a 3D animation. We rendered it out, but it doesn't have the motion blur to make it look realistic. We can actually force motion blur onto the piece of footage using an effect called CC uh, force motion blur. And so what you have to do is basically just, we're just going to drop this footage on here, adjust a couple effects, and it'll recreate some of that motion blur to make it look a little bit more realistic. So if you'll see right here, before the CC force motion blur, specifically look at the helicopter blades and the part of the background. It looks very like a model coming through here. You can see that it looks like the the there's a very sort of constant spin on this. Now, if we actually turn on CC Force Motion Blur here, you'll see that it adds a little bit of extra sort of motion to those those blades. It adds a little bit to the background. Um, it isn't perfect, but it does sort of make it look a little bit more intense, a little bit more realistic. And this works for a multitude of different shots, pan shots, um, people running across. Sort of all it's doing is what this basically does is it's going to create additional frames on top of each of these frames just to give it an effect like motion is happening the greater the change between two frames the greater the motion it's going to be adding to the frame and so it's as simple as just taking this cc force motion blur dragging it onto our effect and then just adjusting basically these two really just the top one and that's motion blur samples that's how many frames is it is it going to create um, between that motion. So the more that you add, the sort of more that is going to, uh, I guess the more professional it'll look, the more sort of smooth it'll look. However, this is a very graphics and sort of processor intensive effect. So if you add this, you know, if we go up to really, really high values, it can take really long to render out. Um, some of like the other footage, which is a little, you know, more colors, more things moving, it can take up to 30 seconds for every single frame or even greater, meaning that you could have render times of four to eight hours. So, you know, use this sparingly. If it looks better on the higher one, of course, go with the higher one, but realize it's going to take longer and longer and longer to render out as well. And then but down here is just for the shutter angle. If we right click on this and go into composition settings and then go over into advanced, you'll see that the shutter angle is right here. That's sort of the amount of motion blur just because um, this is sort of like the shutter speed of the entire composition. So if we want to adjust that without having to adjust the entire composition, we can just say, hey, let's overwrite this and let's make our own shutter angle. And you'll see that dragging this into different directions sort of adds different effects to it. So the higher it is sort of the more uh, blur that usually comes out of it. And we can see just sort of, you can just sort of mess around with it and see which one looks best for you. You can see that we have that sort of thing right there. And if we bring it down, it's like sort of almost a lot closer of a motion. So yeah, just adjust it. Uh, I'm gonna put it on 90 for this. And then now we have the motion being created. And you see it's taken a little bit longer to render just because we have added this on here. But now we've sort of added in this, this motion to make it look a little bit more realistic. We can also turn on frame blending down here. So if we go down to the frame blending option, we can uh, you can toggle your switches to get over here if you haven't done so. Um, and once you're over here, you can turn this on and then you can activate this up here. And what this will actually do is it'll sort of add even more motion by sort of blending those additional frames even more. And this is gonna make it take a really long time to render through. But I feel that a lot of times adding this will actually make it look a whole lot better as well. But that is the basics of how to force motion blur onto your footage. Uh, if you've shot at a too high of a shutter speed, all you gotta do is bring it in After Effects, drop that CC motion blur on there, uh, force motion blur on there, and you can add it into the footage. Understand that if you can get the motion blur you want in, you know, while shooting, definitely go that route because this is going to be a time consuming process to render this out and, you know, sort of work with it. But there is a safety net in case you have messed up. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below on our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos some of this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'm going to get a video every other day on Adobe-related products. And until next time, guys, see ya.